Yep. Ball position proper. Hand position where your hands are below your chin. Okay. Knee flex where there's pelvic tilt. And okay. A little bit of hamstrings firing up. Okay. And then spine angle. Everybody's spine angles are different. You have C spine, S spine, straight back. Well, yeah. we like to teach everyone to be in the proper straight back position. Yes. But others can't quite get there, so we work with what we have. Well, as soon as the golf swing begins, I kind of teach it this way. It needs to be a gradual motion going back of the shoulders, arms, hands, and the turn of the core. So sometimes people will say, well, what starts the backswing? And you know what it is? It's the body. Yes. It's not the hands moving the club head away from the ball. It's the body. And what better instrument to use during an instruction time to teach the body swing than the orange whip? So as you demonstrate swinging back, it's easy to see all the motion of the golf swings in sequence, the shoulder turn, the hip turn, and you get to the top of your backswing and you want to let that club stop before the downswing starts. It's kind of like watching golf on TV and you see Hideki Matsuyama. Yeah. You see Ernie Els. And the rhythm of the golf swing is just so good when we watch it on TV. So a lot of my students will say, well, explain what a pause does. What is that? And I'll say, any kinesthetic sequence of motion in any sport has, for example, throwing, you back up yep. and you throw a football or a baseball. Uh, in swinging a baseball bat, there's a touchdown, the movement of the low body first. So the simple motion of the golf swing, in my opinion, should be taught in a very simple way. Yep. And the orange whip assists me. And it, and you can feel that that load at the top and the, and the pause with this because of the flex and the weight much more than you can with a golf club although it's happening exactly the same way with a golf club but once a student who struggles with that can feel it that's when they can adapt to it much quicker so i, I love that that approach because you're just basically talking about the simple bulk of how the body is settled in and then it's a, basically a, a, a body movement to take this load from here to load it up there so you can unload it all toward your target in balance but i love the approach of build it up through that methodology rather than too many pieces because that's when it gets complicated let's trade places for a second you bet another common mistake i see in the golf swing is players getting in good position and they're so excited about hitting that ball because there's a golf ball there sure i'll say hold on a second give me your practice way so the student will stand there and they'll make this beautiful motion in their golf swing and I'm saying I'm really proud of you let's keep your head still and and work on position then they get a club in their hand and there's a golf ball yeah and all of a sudden their brain goes into I gotta hit that yes it's an object you gotta hit it to a target and then I gotta go find it and hit it again so they'll get up there and I can see it coming the grip pressure's too tight yep. the body's kind of tense and there's a <laughs> kind of a hit and yep. everything stops and I'll say to my student that did not look like your practice way. Do you know why? Like, I, I, I tried too hard. I said, well, I think you did, but it was because there's a ball there. Yeah. Let me show you how I like to explain the rhythm of the golf swing. So we get the orange whip, and I'll put it in their hands. I'll say, just swing it. You're not hitting anything, and I want you to swing it this way. Jimmy, I told you that um, I kind of was very happy developing a golf swing that has rhythm and balance for my students and show them that the backswing stops before the downswing starts. Yes. And just letting the club do the work. Take it out of their hands, put their seven iron back in their hands, and I'll say something as simple as swing the same way you just swung in the practice motion. So the orange whip really helps put that thought and feel together. Then they grab their seven iron and it's certainly a lot lighter. Yes. This ball's heavy. This shaft is flexible and heavy, and it's counterweighted with yet another heavy. Yep. So then they put their seven iron in their hands, and then they trust that they can swing the same way, and certainly the motion's better. They may hit it on the sweet spot and hit a better shot, but they feel better about their golf. Very much.